All right, this is a CBT guitar lesson for Sean. This is Vader with Revelation of Black Moses. You wanted just the guitar solo coming in at three minutes. It's got some tapping, it's really cool. So I don't have this real time. I'd have to sit and practice it for, uh, who knows, hour, two hours, to just get it all memorized. But I am gonna break it down for you. The tuning is C-sharp standard, so every string is uh, a step and a half flat, or three half steps flat. You'll see in your tabs, I wrote it. I don't know if you know how to do this type of tuning. First I thought it was drop C sharp, but uh, after listening to the solo, I'm like, nope, this is all triple flat. 259 is the start, and um, we're starting with tapping. And what you're gonna do, the basic concept you'll get within the first four. So we're gonna tap 12B, pull off to 5B, pull that to an open, and hammer right back to five. Okay, but they go one time and then they're gonna do a tap slide. So you're gonna tap the 12 to 8 and then go over to 1B, pull off to the to the one, pull open, hammer one. And then tap the eight. And then you're gonna go back to 12. So you have Okay. Back to 12. And then that's the same as the first one. 12, 5, open, 5. And then tap 12, slide to 15, go up to 8 on the B, pull off to 8, open, back to 8, and then tap 15, slide to 12, I'm going to go 8, open, 8, tap 12, go to 8, 1, open, 1, tap 8, back to 12, this comes up to 8, open, Eight. Um, there's double dots in here. When when, you, when we do this eight slide to twelve, you'll see at the ending of your uh, the second tab grouping, where it goes from the twelve to the eight to the open to the eight. Then you're gonna tap fifteen, pull off to twelve. No, you'll tap fifteen. Slide to 12, 8, oh, 8, tap 12, slide to 8. Um, no, that's the second line. So the last tap you see in the second grouping, you're tapping 8 and sliding to 12. But when you get to 12, this is where the double dots start. You're going to go 8. Open, 8, tap 12, slide to 15, 12, open, 12. So it's, it's going to go back and forth twice. Very cool. So it's like a, a, a tap, slide, and you're dragging the next hand up to follow. Um, another little thing, if you're getting some unwanted string noise, Place your palm on the thicker strings, if you can, all the strings except the B and the high E, of course. But um, when you're tapping, it's really easy to get unwanted noise in there. Okay, so we, after the double dots, then you're gonna tap, you're coming off the 15 from the double dots to 12. Then we're back to 808. Tap 12, slide to 17 this time. So you're way up here, That and then fret hand over here is on 10. Open, 10, tap the 17, and then from that 17, you're sliding over to 10. It's a long slide. And then one open, one on the B. Tap 10, and then you're up to 15 on your slide. And then 12, open, 12, tap 15, slide to 12, 8, open, 8, tap 12, and that is double dots as well. So you wind up with this. Um, we have, if we went from the 15, the start of the double dots, you have. So. Very cool. Okay, and then, um, so let me do that again because the tapping ends there. You have. And then just hit the open G, just kind of 
take an available finger, pluck it so it rings open. This guitar is not set up with a whammy, but there's real mild like whammy, vibrato, and then dive down off that open G. And then the rest of this is picking. Um, that open with the whammy comes in at 310. The next time stamp is 314. You'll go 7G slide to 9, vibrato. So you're gonna go and then slide off of that. The line in your tab is just a rest. For vibratos, it's a good idea to uh, anchor the thumb and use your wrist to get a good heavy vibrato, which they have. And then we're going to go from 9 on the G, slide to 11, and then pick 12, 11. So it's 9, hammer 11, hammer 12. So it's pick 12, pull 11, vibrato. So from the hammer, it's... Alright, fingering is optional as far as which ones you choose to use, but I did write down, uh, for the most part, what I'm pretty comfortable with and I figured you would be too. But you can change some of that if it's just something that's not flowing right for you. 318 is our next time stamp, and we've got 911 on the G. Actually, 911 12, slide to 14. Actually, no vibrato. Then from there, go 11, 12, 14, slide 17. So it's... Okay, it's getting ready to take off here. 16, 14, 16 on the G, down, up, down. Half step bend, so one fret bend. You're bending this to this. And then two 16s, vibrato. 321, and it kind of really takes off into some, some good techniques, some scales here. It goes. So let me write that down. It's alternate picked. 14, 16, 14, hammer 16, pull 14. So it's. And then goes 17D down, 14G up. And then 17, 16, 14, 16, 17, all on the D. Okay, and then we can flip the page. And then 14, 16, 17 on the G twice. This is all alternate picked. 15, 17, 19 on the B. So we have that's that timestamp. Three twenty-three is the next timestamp, and it is it's three times. Um, I wrote the first one out and double dotted the next. Um, 15, 17, 19 on the B, 15, 17 on the E, and then 15 E, hammer 17, pull 15, so that sounds like this, 19, 15, B, E, and then 19, 17, 15, B, 17, 19, B, so we have Actually, if you stop on the 17, you have a. Then you'll see the double dots come in. And really, that's just repeating that phrase from 15, 17, 19 on the B two times. So in reality, it ends up being three. Right? So. Some shredding. So you finish it. Then you're gonna um, leave those double dots. Go 17, 19, 20 on the B, but we're gonna use some different fingers. Index, middle, and third. You'll go 17, 19, 20, and then e same thing on the E. 17, 19, 20, 
17. That gives you this. 19E, half step bend, hold it, pick it again, release it, and pick twice, vibrato, slide. So that last phrase after the double dots. Okay, that is the part that came after. I don't know who the guitar player is. As a matter of fact, um, Sean, I'd never heard this band before, um, but um, this is obviously a good guitar player. This dude's got some chops, no doubt about it. Um, if you have questions, you're one of my students. I've got you saved as a contact. Let me know. Um, and I, if, you, if you have trouble, just let me know. But take this stuff slow. Try to subgroup group and look for the parts that kind of are repetitive that you can, you know, prime example on the beginning when we're going. Take that. That's the, the the tapping concept, right? And then add the. You know, and you build off of it like that. If I were to sit, like I said, and do this for about an hour, I could do this whole solo. It really comes down to the memorization of it. But that's the best way to approach them in small chunks, build off of those blocks, all right? Thanks. Appreciate it.